Hi, my name is Maisha. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is how I install my wig using this Galaxy glue. This is my first time using this glue. Okay, so don't forget to like, subscribe, comment on my channel. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Maisha Chanel. And now let's hop into this video. So first thing I'm going to do is apply my wig cap. My hair is braided. I did go to the salon because I cannot braid worth anything. And I'm just going to make sure my braids in the back are tucked underneath my wig cap. I'm gonna I think I'm going to show you in the back. Because you do not want your braids hanging out, looking all raggedy. You want it to like blend in better. So it should look something. We gonna fix it up. I just want to share a disclaimer. Obviously I'm not a pearl or anything. But I do know my way around a little bit. Okay, they say you're supposed to use some sea breeze or whatever, but I don't have none, so I was just going to use witch hazel. I don't know what difference it really made, but we're just going to try out. They say that the witch hazel clean it. That way the um, glue lasts longer and like we don't have no problems. Because dirt build up and all that, it can cause the um, glue to... Okay, so now I'm going to apply the um, Galaxy Lace Glue. I'm going to be using the um, back of the comb. And I was just like pouring it on because I realized I thought it was going to come out extra liquidy, but it's like actually kind of like you. So you could just squirt it out onto the comb. I felt like at first I did use like way too much. So I did have to do this application again twice. But the second time that I did it, I felt like um, that I didn't need to use that much glue. And it ended up working out the second time. I realized that this glue dry really quickly. I feel like it dries within like two, three minutes. And that's very fast, which is a good and a bad thing because then you could put it on, you could get done faster. But at the same time, if it dries all the way, you're going to have to do another application, which is kind of annoying. So it was like a win-win, like a win-lose actually kind of situations. Like you get done faster, but if it dries all the way up, then you got to do another application. And when you're applying this glue, you want to make sure you're not on your hairline, but a little bit before. So that's why I look like I'm more on my forehead because I do not want to rip out any of my hair. 
it probably look a little sloppy, but hey, I'm still learning. As you can see, it gets like really clear, like you don't see the white stuff, it starts to go away. That's the one good thing about this glue that I really like. Okay, so right now it's tacky and you see it's clear pretty much, so I'm applying one more coat. I just want to make sure that this stay on for a while because I don't want to keep having to take this one off. Like I use got to be glue for like one day applications, two days applications, but I want this to last at least a week. So now I'm just letting it dry. I'm just picking at the little um, white parts because now I feel like it's tacky. So I'm going to start applying a wig. Okay, you do not want to put it directly on the glue. When you first start, you're going to want to wait. Pull it up side to side. So first start on one side. I think you should use like a comb or something to like keep it down. You do not want the baby hairs. You see how they kept trying to come up in the front? You do not want to do that. You want to put it on side to side, like one ear down first and push down the comb. And then you want to go to the other side and start doing the same thing. Like you see, I'm taking that flap right there and I'm just going to put it on the glue. That's how you want to put, that's how you want to apply every piece of your lace like that and then mash it down with a comb. So when I'm done applying it, I'm going to um, use a scarf to like make it more flighter. I realized like once I'm with the bed and everything, like the next day, I felt like it looked even better when it was flatter.
I realized one part wasn't glued down, so I just put some glue over it, and I'm just gonna let. Okay, so now I'm just applying mousse all over my hair. I'm just trying to get it sleek and smooth. I realized I had a little bit too much lace right there on the front. So off camera, I just start cutting around the perimeter. But overall, so far, it looks nice. The install. You can see that lace hanging right there. And it's because it's too much. Like I should have cut more off, but it's fine. I'm gonna do it off camera in a second. Okay, now I feel like I'm finally getting somewhere. So I'm just brushing the hair and I'm putting mousse on. I'm just trying to get it as flat as possible. And I was just using a flat iron just to make it like flatter. Pretty much I'm done now. Overall, I did like the glue. I just didn't like how when you're trying to take it off, it gets like real tacky. I did flat iron my hair off camera. If you want to see it, watch my how to flat iron away video. Um, I'm going to show you a closer look right now. And it actually doesn't look bad for the install. Could be better, but hey. Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment on my channel, turn my personal notifications on. And this video, the last one, is from the um a few days ago. After a few days, this is how the glue looks. It looks nice. And that is the end of my video. Thank you.